Tomb of the Lost Queen is one of the less popular Nancy Drew games. How can it be fixed? I've got lots of suggestions. Like the Shattered Medallion and Labyrinth of Lies, the script needs a rewrite. The dialogue is too strange and unnatural, especially Jamila's. It feels like her lines were written by aliens. Something that especially stood out to me was the way characters abruptly change conversation topics. To take three examples, when John says he was attacked, Nancy promises to find out whose tomb it is. When Nancy asks why Lily fought with Abdullah, Lily asks Nancy to sort amulets. Jamila talks about the Daughters of Nefertari, then gives Nancy an item for searching Lily's trunk. The game needs a different opening. Previous games had an opening letter or a case file to introduce the characters and scenario. This game needs that. We get no introduction to anyone. John is knocked out before we learn who he is. Dylan and Jamila appear out of nowhere. They are two strangers who casually stroll into the tomb, and they get to be characters for the rest of the game. Giving the characters a proper introduction would have been a lot better. I don't think Lily worked as a character. I would change her personality. She's introduced as a control freak. Maybe she would be better if that was her personality. As it is, all she does is get scared and complain. I think she's the least important character in the game. Which is weird to say, because all Dylan does is hand you two papers and be good looking before a cave-in removes him from the game. On that note, it feels like the characters are not involved with the game. They're just like bystanders. Nancy is exploring a tomb, solving puzzles and finding hidden passages. What do the other characters do? Nothing. They stay in place and don't look at any of the new discoveries Nancy has made. For people who are supposed to be here to find Nefertari, they're acting like they couldn't care less. At least Abdullah is pretending to work. Lily lies on her bed all day, like a lazy seal. Occasionally they'll say something like, Oh no, the columns in the tomb moved! But that's as close as they get to exploring the tomb. When Lily does leave her bed, it's impossible and that annoys me. We're told Dylan's hurt because Lily booby-trapped the cat tomb ahead of time. She couldn't have done that! The door was securely locked with the blue cat amulet puzzle! She didn't have the amulet! She could have gotten inside ahead of time! In the same way, when Nancy solves the bird tile puzzle, that opens up a new tunnel, and Lily's already been there. She left some stuff behind. That's impossible! The tunnel was open two seconds ago! Lily could not have beaten Nancy there! Ugh. Also, Lily's a bad archaeologist. She left her garbage behind in this tunnel. Clean up after yourself, Lily! While the characters ignore the excavation... Nancy ignores the mystery! She never tries to figure out who attacked John. I wish that had been more of a focus in this game. There was an attempted murder. No one cares! I like the new inventory bar in the game, but it should be coupled with better inventory management. Most of Nancy's items are papers and books, which all look pretty similar. I would make an effort to combine them and to remove as many inventory items as possible. Some items disappear from the inventory as soon as they're used, like the keys and the cat amulet. Others stay in your inventory for the whole game, like the pick and the flashlight. Why does Nancy need to have a broken flashlight in her inventory at all times? She should have gotten rid of it after it broke. The game's also inconsistent about what counts as an inventory item. You can't pick up the spied pamphlet, Professor Hotchkiss's book, or one of the hieroglyph books in Nancy's trunk. Why don't they count as inventory items? Maybe the inventory would not be overcrowded if there was a consistent standard as to what does and what doesn't belong in there. The two hieroglyph books in Nancy's inventory are for translating those random bits of writing on the walls of the tomb. I did not like that element of the game. I didn't see the point. The translations are useless at best, and make no sense at worst. I'd either get rid of them entirely, or make them useful and interesting. They could be various hints for the puzzles in this tomb, or fun references to other Nancy Drew games. That would be better than, I speaketh to his mummy. The Antiquities Tent has eight different items, which is too many. 
They should have spread these items out equally among all the different locations of the game instead of cramming them all into one small spot. The same goes for the tunnels. The right tunnel has all the puzzles. The left tunnel doesn't have any puzzles until the second half of the game. Middle tunnel doesn't have any puzzles ever. Unless you count using the pick on the wall to get a bird tile. They should have spread the puzzles out equally among the different parts of the tomb, instead of letting the right tunnel hog all the puzzles. Finding some items didn't make sense to me. Lamp oil appears on the water truck after you find the coffin. Why? A scarab tile appears in the middle tunnel after Abdullah yells at Jamila. Why? When you distract Abdullah throughout the game, he takes his key with him. When you do the exact same thing at the end of the game, he leaves his key behind. Why does he leave it behind this time? It's like those items appear only because Nancy needs them to, not because it makes sense for them to appear at those times in those ways. I think the worst offender is distracting Jamila so you can search her bag. You can do this whenever you want in the first half of the game. As soon as Dylan tells you something's hidden in Jamila's bag, boom, you can't distract her anymore. That conversation option is taken away for about an hour. There's no explanation given. That option is just gone. It makes no sense that Nancy gives up the ability to distract Jamila right when search Jamila's bag again is added to the task list. That feels like the game is cheating against me. I also don't like how Jamila's about to tell you everything. Then she says, the time is not right. Wait. That felt like the game was purposely delaying Jamila's big confession until the end. Once you search Lily's trunk and learn she planted the cobra in Nancy's bunk, Lily disappears. That makes me mad. I really wanted to talk to her about that. It's not the only game where everyone disappears at the end, but here, it feels like getting rid of all the characters was an excuse to avoid confrontations and conversations, which should happen. There is a minor confrontation with Lily, which is cut short by a cave-in. There's a minor confrontation with Abdullah before the final puzzle. I definitely needed more from these confrontations. I wanted a full confession, which explained everything, especially the attempts to kill Nancy, Dylan, and John. Instead, almost nothing gets explained. Lily refuses to say anything, and Abdullah just gloats Nancy will die soon. These bare-bones confrontations leave too many unanswered questions. My other complaints are smaller things, like Lily's lecture on Senate is too boring, and I have no idea where the mirror puzzles take place. There are no mirrors in the tomb. As for the puzzles, I mostly like them. I would change the Dylan Rock puzzle, because the rules are not obvious, and when I get stuck on that puzzle, I get stuck badly. Like, five minutes of failure before I get it right. The ledge puzzle is also an unfavorite puzzle among fans. Those are my thoughts on this game's flaws. If you're interested, I did a 40-minute review of the game, so you can hear me talk about the game in far more detail by watching that video. I also did videos suggesting ways to fix the other lackluster games in the Nancy Drew series. Leave a comment if you have suggestions, like maybe you think the game's problems would all be solved by changing who the culprit is.